See, he was working out. That. He's ready for the summer there. He's all svelte and everything. That, yeah. just, that, yeah. You can do anything with character, <laughs> character, yeah, <just> cartoons. <laughs> okay, Tim, you ready for your question? All right. What causes hail? What causes hail? Mm. One thing, when you're having an outdoor you know, cookout or whatever, you don't want that around. No, we do not. Yeah, you need big thunderstorms. Usually when we're talking about hail, they come with very intense, large thunderstorms, very large uh uh, tall, towering thunderstorms, usually in the severe storms. But what causes hail is a lot of water droplets, but the cloud itself has to maintain the freezing mark here. So water hits a specific part of that uh, in the cloud. It freezes on contact. Uh, the really interesting thing about hail, and if you, you know, a lot of people will take pictures of hail. Right. If you can find a way to cut it in half, maybe if you're getting real inquisitive, you can find just how many times a hailstone has gone up an updraft and back down in a cycle by looking at the rings formed in the ice stone itself. Really? It's so like rings yeah. like a tree. So you can, you can cut it open, you know, if you cut it open and you can see rings in the uh, hailstone and each ring indicates how many times it's been up and down a cycle of an updraft here. So yes, it hits a certain amount of the, the freezing mark and travels up Then you have really strong downdrafts that force, eventually force the hail to come down out of the thunderstorm, mm. but it's kind of a neat thing. It I is. I did not know that. Yeah. The <laughs> next time we have a hailstorm, well, I want you everyone to get outside and get their band saws ready. <laughs> Wash your hands. What's the largest hailstone you've seen? Um, when I lived in Nebraska, Aurora, Nebraska, I think at one point had a six and a half inch hailstone. Oh my! It was it was the largest, if I'm not mistaken. But then it it. Uh, Came second to, I think, one in Oklahoma. Bigger than a baseball. <laughs> Huge. Wow. I mean, just ginormous. You talk about grapefruit size, like five, yeah. six inches. Now, I'm Go ahead. No, I was just going to say videos and pictures. You mm -hmm. know, I've seen large, but maybe like in person, golf ball. Yeah. Easily. And it can be golf all lo crazy looking, oh, yeah. spiky and all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. It's like, man, that comes and falls 80 miles an hour out of a storm and hit something, nay, nay. game I, over. You mentioned golf ball. I remember, I know everybody, a lot of people here remember May of last year, Beginning of May, mm -hmm. we had suddenly a hailstorm across the area. Remember, we had it here at the station. Oh, sure. And they were really small. Yeah, yeah. But by the time it got to North Augusta, they were golf ball size. Caused caused five thousand dollars damage to my wife's car. Oh. Well, that's I don't I know hate. if that's something you really want to try to relive again. There. No, you don't. That's well, what I'm forget saying. Forget that. Hail is no, no, no. Oh, hail, no. No. <laughs> Everybody's saying hail, no. Okay. Yeah. On that one. Sure. Oh man, I hate that. Yeah. The sound hitting your car. Oh. You know, I just. <laughs> I've had some bad oh, news. Yeah, and then all of a sudden <laughs> yeah. you try to run out there and pull things in. Not a good idea, folks. As insurance. I said, 75 to 80 miles per hour of a hailstone falling out of a storm, it's going to hurt. It's going to leave a mark. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. yeah. You don't want to be out in that, You too. don't. So would you like to know more about hail or <laughs> why the sky is blue or what makes rainbows? Ask Tim. You can send us your questions. Uh, Morning Mix at WRDW.com, and uh, we'll be sure to get those questions along to Tim. Please do. Way yes. to go, Tim. Oh, great. I'm looking forward to this weekend. Teaching already. us something new. Love it. You're welcome. No hail today or this weekend. Better not or my oh. job's at risk. <laughs> oh, man, that's scary right there. Still ahead, we're showing you the latest on entertainment.